We're here on the waterfront this gorgeous morning. It's absolutely beautiful. The sun is shining. This is Cindy. She's the VP of Mariposa, and she just offered me a job for this Saturday. She said, my throwing the line skills are pretty on par, right? It was pretty impressive, I got to say. <laughs> so early in the morning, too. Right, right. I wasn't half asleep. And you know what? She gave me this captain's hat. She basically said, that's it. Now I can... You know, drive the boat. Yeah, yeah, there right, we Captain. Go. Okay, so you're going to tell me a bit about Mariposa. So, what is Mariposa Cruise Line? Uh, Mariposa is at Toronto. We cruise in Toronto. We do dining excursions, special events. We have six boats, and uh, we have a yacht for up to you know 20 people up to uh, the Northern Spirit that we're on currently that can host 550 guests. So you guys are celebrating 31 years. So you've seen quite a bit, uh, quite a few changes, like the skyline, for example. We're seeing high rises now, but what what did this look like before? Well, 200 years ago, the waterfront actually went straight through to Royal York. There's uh, photographs of ships actually at uh, where Union Station is. So it's pretty remarkable that where we are currently, all this is landfill and developed. Uh, the harbourfront has changed from in the 50s, it was very much industrial, a shipping, marine um, enterprise. The 70s, uh, when trucking became more popular, it became more so of uh, parkland mixed use to its current day when we've just gone through this wonderful revitalization where now we have parkland, uh, promenade, cycling paths, uh, and the waterfront is open, uh, mixed use, very busy harbour. It's a wonderful uh, waterfront for any city, especially for Toronto. And there's been quite a few historical moments out here. Absolutely. In, the, in 1959, the, the Queen came and uh, opened up Red Path Sugar, which is still with us today as part of our waterfront history. Uh, we had uh, the Queen's Key Terminal Building, which was transformed in, in the 80s to, from a marine warehouse to a mixed-use, spectacular architecture. Harbourfront Centre, of course, Parkland. So through the years, there's been all sorts of wonderful uh, initiatives that have transformed our waterfront. Okay. And it continues. So let's go visit Brendan quickly. He's the captain of the boat. Um, we're going to just take a look at what's in store, and he's going to show me a few things. Hey, Brendan. Hey, how's it going? Uh, good, good. Okay, so uh, where are we right now? We're in the bridge of the wheelhouse. Okay. Same thing. And so what do we have here? Well, we have the big wheel for steering the boat. <laughs> well, All right, that's pretty obvious. You can't miss that. So, and then it goes along with the rudder indicator, so we can tell how far the rudders are over. Okay, and so and this? That's the old girl, the old magnetic compass. Okay, so for coming up for navigation. Oh, perfect. And uh, and then that engine control, so forwards, neutral, and reverse, and then engine speed all combined into two sticks. Okay, so coming up, we're going to actually go through more of the history of Mariposa and its 31 years.